Western leaders are warning the war in Ukraine could last for years and sustained support will be required to defeat the Russian invasion. Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who visited Kyiv on Friday, has set out a four-point plan to supply weapons and economic assistance. And as fighting continues around the eastern cities of Severodonetsk and Nizhichansk, NATO's political chief Jens Stoltenberg has warned the West must prepare for the fact that it could take years. He said we must not let up in supporting Ukraine and it should do so even if the costs are high, not only for military support, also because of rising energy and food prices. Our correspondent Joe Inwood has been examining the long-term prospects for Ukraine as it attempts to resist and rebuild. We're getting really a consistent message from leaders in the West now that people shouldn't expect a quick resolution to this. I think that tallies really with what people here have been experiencing and expecting. And it's for two reasons, not just that the fighting is going to take a long time and they're going to need military support for a long time. But if you look just behind me, you can see the level of destruction that this town has undergone. Over there, the town of Erpin. 60,000 people used to live there. They reckon just in this one small town, more than a billion dollars of damage has been done. Now, of course, as you can see, they have rebuilt. They are starting. That little bridge there was only put up a few weeks ago. It was an attempt, obviously, to bypass the damage done here. But there is a huge amount of devastation that's come about as a consequence of this war. And as people say, it's going to take a very long time to sort all this out, even after the fighting is finished. And... In terms of Ukraine getting what, it's ne what it needs from other countries, it's been a recurrent theme. Other countries have stepped up and obviously um, a lot of things have, have gone that way, but, but they still say there is more that they need. What's the latest on that front? So we've had more promises of weapons over the last few days. Just over the last 24 hours, the Americans say they're considering sending more HIMARS, long, more multiple launch rocket systems. But really, it's a never-ending stream of requests from the Ukrainians. They say they need a huge amount of equipment, far more than has been promised. Uh, and that's because they are facing these overwhelming odds in, because of the, the strength that the Russians have in the east of the country. Just one thing I wanted to bring people's attention to, that we've had some really interesting comments from the new head of the British Army uh, in the last hour or so, uh, Sir Patrick Sanders, who has given a really remarkable interview to the Press Association, I thought, in London, where he's talking about the fact that we need, he needs to prepare a British army to fight in Europe again, a British army that can fight alongside its allies to defeat Russia. Really quite bellicose language from the new head of the British army. He's only been in the role a short period. So we mustn't read too much into this, but it was really quite striking language.